morning. Nice calm day, one of the best night sleeps we've had here last night, so it's very calm. And uh, looking forward to French Poly, but also the two to three weeks of sailing. Like all our other passengers, we count down as we travel along. We've never seen so many numbers on our wall before. On the back of our countdown, we write challenges or treats. These help break up the monotony of the days. 2,800. The back, it says, do 10 moving plates. We just caught the biggest fish in we've ever caught, I think. It's, it's amazing. What are you doing, Blake? Playing, well, dissecting a fish. Uh, what sort of fish? It's a yellow fin tuna. And what have you found? He was just eating little calamari. My shift at the moment. It's so boring, there's like nothing happening at all. There's a squid in the middle of this, this seat. And there's been a booby that's decisively shat everywhere that I've been trying to scare away for a while. And I think I have successfully scared away now. But he'll be back. This is boobs. He's been shitting all over the solar panels for a while. And now he's managed to find himself a bit more of a hard spot to get away from, but also a much easier spot to clean the poop off. So I just hope he stays there and then it's fun to look at and much easier to smack off if I need to. But I don't want to do that anymore because I'm struggling to fly and he's getting tired. We have reached 2,600 miles to go. 10 times push ups. Manu would say, Oh, I want to do this, I want to do this. No, I want to do this. This time, I want to do this. Dad's turn now. Getting ready to swing off the side of the boat. There are whales. shift and I've just woken Leo up for his but we've also just tipped through 2,500 nautical miles to go. What does it say on the back Leo? Learned in words in Spanish. There's whales somewhere. Fish on! So we're all now working in amongst the washing. After about five minutes of fighting, we, we caught the biggest mahi we've ever seen. We we'll hooked up another fish. So we're gonna bring him in and see, see if it's a little bit bigger than last. So we got the fish to the back of the boat and then it jumped off, but 
That wasn't much bigger than the last one. We have reached 2,400 miles to go. We're all awaiting challenge. Have a drawing game. Everybody's asleep, and we've just clocked over 700 miles done, so now we have 2,300 to go. Get the, the three-minute plank. We have made some bottles that we're now going to throw overboard, and we're going to see where they end up going. They've got leaders inside them. Go, Blake. Hopefully someone finds them. Oh, we think we've caught a bigger fish than the one we caught earlier. There were hundreds of fishing boats outside Galapagos. This one was funny in particular because it was called Superman and going to Disneyland. Seems to be my shift again. We've clocked over 2100 miles to go. And on the back, everyone rolls the die. Highest number gets to cut the lowest numbers here. We have reached the 2000 mile mark. It says swim if it is calm enough. If not, use a bucket. Go for a swim. It's tomorrow's job now. What you making for dinner, Mum? Uh, salad, beetroot, corn, and cheese with fresh mahi mahi and rice. That sounds good. Right, quarter to six. Sunrise is coming. It's a pretty, pretty good night. Mostly broad reaching, reaching. And we're actually just having our first bit of rain. Um, that'll calm the seaway down a bit. Got about 14 knots of breeze at 130 degrees to us from behind. But as I say, this rain will make the water calmer. It's getting going to be. Maybe you can hear it. It's a bit of rain out there. We just caught a bigger mahi mahi, and this is Nico's first time quilting. Nineteen hundred to go, and on the back it says, "Do ten burpees." Caught your thirteen calamari off the deck this morning, and you chopped them all up out the back deck, and now you've cooked them, and it looks pretty yummy. You just put some soy sauce on, and uh, what do you reckon? It's good. How does it taste? Very what does nice. It taste? Seventeen hundred to go. 
Eat chocolate. Eat chocolate. <laughs> We caught another fish. Got there. Little did we know that this You're would be a three here. fish day. It's massive, look it's at him. Run. We called it quits on Whoa. the fishing now until we'd eaten through all we had caught. On the helm station tonight, you see a bit of a squish. This one here just landed next to me on the floor. He's a, a bit of a squid. The Kalamari, he's still alive, so I can't put back in the water without him. Halfway. 1500 to go. It says eat a chocolate biscuit. Chocolate biscuits spell my name and no one else's. So I guess I get them all. It's my evening shift again and it's just clocked over 1400 miles to go. So I'll take this one off. Thirteen hundred miles now to Nikahiva, and uh, just getting along quite nicely. We've avoided the rough weather that was further south, and um, now we've got forward reaching, which is actually on the beam because their parents were using with both jibs and full main, and it's a lovely morning. You see behind us, fifteen knots of breeze. This is bottle number five. I'm throwing it over now. Blake's writing another one that he's going to throw over soon. This is bottle number six and it's going in there. What have you been doing, Leo? Cooking. So we've got marmite and cheese scrolls and corn and cheese scrolls.
11,000 miles. So that's two thirds of the way. Still got another thousand miles to go. What does it say on the back, Lee? Chocolate. It says chocolate. Yes. And 15 push ups. I've just made this boat out of a peach can that we finished eating. What's up? We have reached the 800 nautical mile mark. So, we have got to a bit less than one third to go. Well done, you can have some chocolate. Again, more chocolate. I wound the cushion, uh, that killed it, Nico hound. Six hundred to go. And it says one fifth to go. If there's anything fresh, eat it now. If not, ten push ups. This is Leo making the next boat. That's the barge that foils. Hold it up then. Good morning. I've been up since 4 a.m. on my ship. See the sun has come up. And typically, as happens every morning, the wind backs on us a little bit, so we're now Genoa pulled out. We're going goose wing. And uh, we've got about 15 knots of breeze from behind us, and we're doing 7 knots. Just nicely getting along. We've got a reef in the main, which we typically do overnight, keep it a bit calmer and more settled. See, it's quite a nice morning. We've got normal pizza base with Nutella and sprinkles and then we've got coconut, marshmallows and caramel on top.
stink. Bucket of water over each of you. Maybe in the morning, because uh, we're just all about to climb into bed. Final evening on our 3,000 mile, quarter mile journey from Galapagos to French Polynesia, Nicohiva. Sunday the 12th. A long time after we left, and we have reached 100 nautical miles. And like all of Dad's challenges, it's some more exercise for us to do. After 17 days, this is the first land that we've seen. A little bit of rain cloud over it. What do you think? Oh, I'm so glad that we're going to be anchored tonight. It's been um, a long 17 days. Boys? Yeah? I just want to be there. Same. What are you doing? Uh, we're making a point in the We're approaching the main um, uh, chicken bay at Nikahivu. It's the island, a little bit cloudy and uh, about five knots of wind so we've been motoring for two hours which is good because we've been making a lot of water, fresh water in our water maker so we'll have uh, fresh water showers tonight after a swim. Any last words? Oh I can't wait to put the anchor down and stop rolling. I yes. think I've been saying that for days. It's a very rolly sea. But we're currently surrounded by uh, some bottlenose dolphins who are cleaning their sides on the hull and uh, it's really cute to watch the boys have been up in front watching the bottlenose dolphins for a while. So outside you'll see that we've made it to the finish line of our journey so we get to take off this last tag and I can't remember what I've done so All right, it says well done have a soft drink, get drunk, and eat chocolate. It's flat, and there's almost no wind. No, I heard you this morning. No, 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 no. Yes, I, you were. I, 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 I
magnificent capacity. I'm not snoring. I've never, ever, ever. 